Hi, early birds. It's so good to see you again. We're going to be sharing words. And there's so many words you can share. One of the ones that we're going to be focusing on for this video is kindness. Kindness is one of the main topics that we're being asked to help educators and parents explore with their children. And one of our ideas for sharing kindness is maybe making a word jar together or a kindness jar. There's a lot of different ways you can do this. Maybe it's with a mason jar you buy from a craft store or a mason jar you have that had marinara sauce or jelly or jam, something like that in it, and you wash it out and you start thinking about what are some words that inspire kindness. This gives you the chance to have some wonderful conversations as well with your children about what does kindness mean to you? What does kindness mean to them? Maybe you have some different ideas. The book we're gonna be featuring is called Be Kind, appropriately enough. This is a story about how friends can be kind to one another. And oftentimes, before I even start this book, kids will already start giving me information about what kindness means to them. And since we are talking about the kindness jars, there's a lot of helpful tips in here of words that might work for your jar. So what is kindness? Maybe kindness is helping, putting dishes in the sink. Maybe it's cleaning up after Otis, the pet guinea pig, because he's a really messy eater. Maybe it's paying attention, telling Desmond that I like his blue boots, or asking the new girl to be my partner or listening to Aunt Franny's stories, even the ones that I've heard before. It also talks about how kindness can be difficult too, which I really appreciate. And it mentions how sometimes one of the best ways to be kind is not with words, it's just by sharing space and listening and letting people know that they care. So kindness as a concept and an action is not exactly developmentally appropriate for babies or toddlers, especially young toddlers. They just don't understand it just yet. But that doesn't mean that you can't start sharing kindness with babies and with your toddler. You can teach your babies and your toddlers to sign thank you, for example. Manners can be kind, right? We can frame it in that way. So we can take our hands, flat palm, whatever hand you use to write with, your dominant hand, that's what you use to sign, put your the tips of your fingers close to your mouth and come out. Thank you. And so babies and toddlers can share kindness in that way. Smiling is another way that um, babies and toddlers and we can all share some kindness. Um, of course, we don't want to force smiling because sometimes you're just not in the mood for it or you're overwhelmed or you're feeling shy and those are very valid feelings. It is kind to understand how children are feeling and not push them to do something they may not be ready for at that very moment. But we can model smiling and we can say I was smiling at the librarian because that's a kind thing to do. It makes people feel good. You guys can practice smiling and if they smile, great. You can call it out and say, I saw you smiling over at the lady at the register. That was such a kind thing to do. I think you made her very happy. And so by just doing that small action whenever they are able, you can be modeling the beginning of kindness and empathy. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again next month. Bye.